Welcome everyone to your intro video for December 17th to the 23rd of 2018. Um, this will be, um, I'm not going to do all 12 signs like this, like I usually do a recorded video, but it will be an audio tarot upload and um, each sign will have their own. But for all of you, there will be access to the um, audio tarot or recorded videos as private readings, but the phone call option is still not an option just yet. It might open up soon, but not just yet. For the week, here you go. Much love to you. Much light. I wish you the best and uh, have a good one. Welcome Sagittarius to your love reading for December 17th to the 23rd of 2018. So there is a, a clear message that's coming through. I feel like this. If you are into spirituality and you... Um, Pay attention to things that happen that sometimes you aren't able to explain, but you take them in. You say, hey, that's an experience that I have. Nobody can tell me any different. So what I want you to do this week is to pay attention to if you see any signs, if you hear something out of the blue, if um, say if you're around a group of friends and some information that you didn't have before, it might come through you through having a conversation with another person. Be aware of that others of you your dreams might be so intense this week that it can help you out i believe a full moon is coming up too but it will be able to help you out to be able to clear out some confusion when it comes to another person i can see three women here now i'm not sure if some of you are talking to three different women you're talking to three different partners um or two i mean it just depends but the high priestess is a a clear sign of some kind of message that's coming through um from the universe from god from your angels to help you clarify some things that which you have been confused about it will become much clearer to you and the other person potentially I can almost see a message coming through right now and it's like um, I'm single or we're not together so why are we pretending to be together um, or I'm spoken for I have another partner or you'll see the person that you're into with somebody else um, as well where some of you are you'll hear those messages or you'll see them you have the vision about it in your dreams this week or something like that might happen um, that's what I get a sense of for a lot of you you're the person that you're dealing with they're bringing some kind of truth towards you they're also letting you know that they might not be ready for a relationship right now because they're working right now they're doing their best to leave an unhealthy maybe marriage or situation this could be both of you disconnected from one another because there's a um, unrequited situation um, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going um, that's where you are responding and maybe partying maybe having a good time and um, trying to enjoy yourself which is a good thing to do as the other person is disconnecting they're not ready right now and even if you are around them you might have the opportunity to be around that person you might still be attracted to them but it doesn't mean that you are um, automatically going to bring it into a fulfilling relationship I just noticed as I'm speaking to you looking through the cup cards are not really there like they need to be when it comes to a love reading which really showing up is um well we've got the pinnacle card that's there the five of pentacles in reverse and i feel like that's still kind of a in the ace of pentacles is an energy where you might devote a lot of your time and also to your own emotions and trying to be honest about how you feel with another person because there seems to be something that you're holding on in secret like someone that you may have moved on from you may not have brought it all out in the open and say hey we're done or we're really not together but we fake the funk or um there's an the energy of trying to do your best to handle or navigate the situation so it doesn't bring embarrassment to the other person or whatever something like that could be going on and i feel the um the response from your partner they give off the four swords so they will be resting and kind of reflecting on certain things and for some of you you have a decision to make whether or not to keep this um this going on which is not maybe suiting either person right now maybe disconnecting from someone where you might not feel like it's ready for some of you the unrequited energy is from you disconnecting from somebody um that you know it's been in it's been in the making for some time but now i have to do work and have to do what i need to do so i can connect with someone who i might truly be in love with um in secret you know the secret is not out and you're trying to make a decision whether or not to embrace that to open up and to kind of embrace the partnership or this new love interest that you might be into so that's why these six of um, wands is showing up 
with judgment, I feel like there are positive things. There is a tension that might be coming your way. There are suitors for some of you out there, but there is a potential secret relationship as well that could be out in the open. That could be um, something that's embraced by others and embraced by both parties. But it seems to be a lot going so they had to pause, but I feel with judgment, six of wands, that's the energy of kind of deciding on what you actually want to do. Should I bring it out into the open? Should I put all this to an end? Should I move forward and be single on my own? You know, what might come of this particular connection? Um, passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy is also another uh, romance angel card. So you may definitely have a strong, um, somebody may very well appeal to you or you might do that and bring that out with somebody else but i feel uh that for a lot of you there does to be s some kind of message that will come through that will help you to understand what you need to do with this particular love connection and don't be surprised because i feel like it'll bring some relief and some of you know what it is but i feel like it will become much clearer for you all right in a um in a positive way though sometimes the the message may not be all that positive um, that you might hear because it can bring heartbreak and saying that, hey, I really do need to move on from somebody. But often as well, it gives you the opportunity to free your energy up so that you can move into a better and healthier relationship with yourself and with another person as well. All right. So um, so you have uh, Pisces then you have. um, Well, you have it's a lot of signs here um a few different it's three different women you have the queen of um i mean the high priestess queen of cups and then the queen of wands showing up um so could be males could be females it just depends there so that's going to be a reading i hope the messages did help out tons of love lots of light to you tons of healing vibes i wish you the best and you can always go to the website psychiclovehills.com to schedule something for you so have a good one